Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Fab Forge 5, where we design and build fun and unusual things, and we always learn something new along the way. So we're going to start a brand new project today. It'll last a couple of weeks, a few parts. We're going to build a spaceship in a bottle. So it was inspired by the, the old uh, kind of hobby of building a sailing ship in a bottle, where a person would build a wooden sailing ship with sails and rigging, slip it inside a bottle and unfold it inside the bottle to have a nice display model of a sailing ship. We're going to update that and build a spaceship instead. Our spaceship will have some electronics in it, some lighting, it'll have uh, different pieces of acrylic, uh, metal, we'll have to do some acrylic bending, some laser cutting, some 3D printing, and some pretty cool electronics. So one of the things we'll do is I've got this vintage CRT from uh, an old camcorder. This is literally about 30 years old. Um, I think it still works. And this just looks cool. It's just a good piece of, you know, vintage electronics that's kind of artsy too. I want this to be kind of the center point of the command console for our astronaut of our spaceship. So we need to find a way to actually display a video on this. I think we can do that with a Raspberry Pi, but I want to find a Raspberry Pi that will fit inside our bottle. So we'll have a few challenges to do that, and then we'll do some uh, some neat lighting, uh, all kinds of stuff. We usually would want to use a bottle like this, which is kind of the standard, you know, wine bottle that a, a, a sailing ship would be inside. We're going to do something a little bit different. I found this nice bottle. It kind of has a shape of a space capsule, so we'll use this one instead. We're going to have to cut the bottom out of it, so we're going to have to build a bottle cutter first thing. Never done that before. should be interesting. So a lot of things to do, a lot of new skills. We'll take a few parts to build our spaceship in a bottle. We'll have some fun. Let's get started. Forge 5. All right, first thing we'll do is design our spaceship in a bottle. I'll show you what that looks like in Fusion 360, and then we're going to build a bottle cutter and cut our bottle. We'll see how that works. Fingers crossed. Let's get started. All right, here's our design in Fusion 360. So we started with the bottle. You can kind of recognize the shape of our bottle here. And what I've done is uh, put a cut into it. So we'll cut off the bottom like this. Hopefully our glass cutter will work for that. That's how we'll get our spaceship obviously inside this bottle. So let's hide the bottle for now and then we'll look at um, the different parts that go inside it. So we'll start with a deck plate made out of uh, clear acrylic. It looks like this. I added some honeycomb to it just to make it interesting. And then we need oh, a bunch of different parts here. So we'll look at uh, a front bulkhead fits in here that will fasten with nuts and screws we'll have a rear bulkhead fits back there we will have a um, our CRT assembly right here a little vintage CRT now to run that we're going to have a Raspberry Pi which looks like this that's something we're gonna to have to solve is how to run a CRT video from a Raspberry Pi that's a Pi Zero so it fits underneath the deck like that and then we have our Circuit Playground Express from Adafruit that fits right there. That has a number of NeoPixel LEDs on the back, which we'll use for lighting of some uh, engine nozzles. You'll see that in a bit. And then we need something to hold our overall CRT assembly. So we'll bend a piece of acrylic to look like this. And I'll show you how that looks. Let's isolate that. So we'll cut it out of clear acrylic, and then we'll use an acrylic bender to make those bends that you can see there. That should be another interesting little project. All right, then we'll add an electromagnet array from a brushless DC motor. And that looks like that. Just gives some pretty cool visual interest, I guess. We'll have a seat back. This piece of seat came from a um, hard disk drive. That's the, I guess, the arm, the head, the reading head arm of a hard disk drive. Looks like that. I thought it looked pretty cool for a seat back. It's a nice aluminum piece. 
Uh, we've got a little hub here that goes in the inside of our electromagnet. Well, let's see. We'll add some 3D printed nozzles. So each nozzle fits right over one of the NeoPixels on the Circuit Playground Express. Let's add some vacuum tubes. There'll be some neat, uh, I don't know, fuel tanks or something. We'll do some neat lighting for those. We'll add a couple of storage jars, which we'll probably fill with some resin to make it look like they're holding water or something. Uh, yes, I know it's a gravity situation, but it still looks pretty neat. Um, we'll have a seat pad here. The seat pad, uh, I think we'll make out of either flexible TPU filament or maybe uh, an old watch band. I don't know. We'll figure something out for that. Um, I'm going to have some spacers that we'll 3D print to mount our different pieces together. We'll put a flexible filament gasket here on front. That'll hold this against the inside of the bottle to make sure it doesn't slide around. Uh, let's see. We'll put some NeoPixels in different places for some lighting effects within the clear acrylic, which I think will look pretty neat. We'll 3D print ourselves a little astronaut. We'll sit inside there like that. We'll do a thruster ring that looks like that out of clear acrylic. And within that, we'll put three NeoPixels, and those will light up three large engine nozzles. And what I want to do with these NeoPixels is make the engines kind of flicker and change color. Make it look like the astronauts may be running low on fuel, trying to get home. Maybe the ship's damaged, kind of a desperate situation. But I think that flickering will look pretty cool, so we'll have to figure that out. Uh, let's add another, a third vacuum tube like this. Since we have three big nozzles, we'll have three big vacuum tubes. And then we'll add some center trusses here that look like this to connect those all together. It looks kind of cool. Uh, we're going to add a little gasket like this that's also out of flexible filament. This will fit against the inside of the bottle and hold it on the back. And that's probably about it for now. So we've got something that looks like this. Now if we turn our bottle back on like this. And if we look how that looks with some photorealistic renderings, it should look something like this. So lots of nice clear parts. They'll have some great uh, lighting effects inside it, different colors, different patterns. The CRT should be playing a uh, space themed video if we get the Raspberry Pi working right. Looks something like that. And you get the idea. So that's the plan. Got to start building some stuff now. So first step is to build a bottle cutter. We'll start with that. Since our bottle is an unusual shape, it's going to have to be really adjustable. It's not a uh, you know, perfect cylinder. So we'll figure that out. And then uh, we'll just kind of go from there. But we'll have some fun. We'll see what we can do. So let's get the bottle cutter made. We'll cut our bottle and then we'll start building stuff. I ordered this bottle cutter from an online shop. It works pretty well for a standard size bottle, a nice cylindrical bottle. It's got a cutter right here, carbide cutter. And you can see it adjusts for different diameters of a bottle. But the problem is it won't cut anything but a cylindrical sized bottle. Our bottle is not cylindrical. So we're gonna take it apart, salvage some pieces of it, and build our own bottle cutter. Here's the cutter head. You can see how it moves. It tightens against the bottle and loosens. We're going to just pull that cutter head off, salvage it, and use that little carbide cutter wheel for our bottle cutter. All right, time to start building. I'm going to fast forward it so you can see how everything comes together in a pretty fast way. I'll make some popcorn.
All right, let's cut a bottle. We'll start by putting a scratch in it with our carbide wheel. Put some pressure on and very carefully rotate the bottle. We're basically creating a defect in the glass, a weak point that will then crack with the right conditions. Now we're going to use a thermal shock method to cut our bottle. First thing is to heat it up in some very hot water, uh, almost boiling. The glass is hot now. Now we'll dunk it in some ice water and that thermal shock will make the glass crack where we put that defect or that scratch. That's the idea at least. Let's see if it works. Sometimes have to go back and forth to make sure the glass gets shocked enough. But you can see the crack has started right there. Now let's get it in some hot water again. And it should pop off. There it goes. Got it. After making our fancy multi-adjustable bottle cutter, I realized the best way to cut the bottle that we need, since it has sloped sides, is like this. All right, we'll go ahead and use the thermal shock method again. I put a little uh, rubber band around to keep the hot water where it should be. I'm gonna try pouring it this time because the bottle is much bigger. You can see the water's nearly boiling. Get it all nicely heated up. And now we'll dunk it in our ice water. Fingers crossed. Do we have a first aid kit? Here we go. It was almost an explosive disconnect. It actually worked. All right, we're good. This is how it looks. All right, we got our bottle cut. I was hoping that that would work out okay. It was a little bit tough, but now we got it. So now we can start working on the inside on the spaceship to put inside our bottle. So the next step is to figure out how to make our Raspberry Pi work, our little CRT to drive it with a, a nice little space theme video. That's the next part that we'll look at. And we'll, if we have some time, we'll do some lighting effects and uh, see what we can do to light up the different parts of acrylic inside our spaceship in a bottle. So we've got a lot ahead to do. We've got some cutting, bending, breaking, fixing, soldering, electronics. So make sure you subscribe. Please like this video and comment. I'd love to see your comments and I will see you next time. Take good care of each other. See you later.